Wait, are you saying you killed Hitler? Because Hitler killed himself. See, that's what those schools are teaching you these days. So, back to what I was saying. All these months of training were about to pay off. All I had to do was land this one bullet. And I missed it. I had no time to think. I had just had to run away with bullets whizzing by my head. It's the end of the road. We have your wife outside. This is your last chance. Terms are non-negotiable. This is your last chance, you weaselly fuck. Your gang is all dead, and we need the location of your processing plant. In other words, give us the address, or your body will be found in the dumpster in the morning. I can tell you've been there. You smell the part. Give me the fucking address! Ah! Give us what we want. Over my dead body. It's the end of the world for you guys. Just give up. Los Camillos Negros are the toughest gang in San Antonio. I think you're mistaken. Almost as late as I was to the wedding, baby. Shut your mouth, motherfucker. What are you doing? Half a cigar. You work for me now. Puta merda. Where am I? Jared. Uh. Dude, where are we? I don't know. What happened? What time is it? I don't know, man. Check your watch. They took my watch. Do you need help finding your time device? Who are you? Tis I, King Sebastian, ruler of the LARP Kingdom.
Did you see anybody take my watch? I will tell you where you watch it after you complete this nine tests. This dude's fucking crazy. Hey, you're fucking crazy. Just tell us where the watch is. Actually, I... What's that? That's him! We will fight them at dawn! Will you shut the fuck up?! My dearest apologies, I cannot go with you to find your watch. I have a LARP meeting with Princess Bubblegum tomorrow. What a weirdo. I think he was into LARP or something. Let's go find your watch. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is this your spot too? Yeah, but only when I'm really lost in thought. Well, what's on your mind today? Just the relevancy of life, really. How me, you, and everyone else on this planet is just like a drop of water in the river. Wow, that's edgy. Well, that doesn't mean you can't make the most of the time you have. It's not that, it's just that everything that seems so significant to me, like not knowing who my real father is, really means nothing in the grand scheme of things. I can get that, but I don't think you should have to keep those thoughts to yourself. I'm Avery. Margaret. So what'd you say about your dad? Oh yeah, I never really had a dad. I was born from a sperm donor. No way, me too. I always wish I could meet him or see what he looked like, but all I have is his name. James Pingree. Is this even allowed? I don't know, dude. Is this okay? Uh... Can it be allowed? Absolutely not. Bye. See ya. My latest three word poem Gary come home